Swoggle is an elite professional wrestler who's broken many barriers throughout his career. In addition to winning the WWE Cruiserweight Championship, he also competed in the first ever We LC match. Now, he talks toys with me. Brandon and I put together a detolf the other day, and it made me feel so dumb. Because it was like, I, I, I should be able to do this. There's easy instructions. And it's all together, but the door won't close all the way. Like, it, it, it catches the bottom magnet if I push it, but not the top magnet. It's just a pain in the ass right now. <laughs> not the only one. We, I put together the one behind me, and yeah. all the magnets line up pretty well, except for the top one. And Whoa! Why is yours on that side? Yeah, I, I set it up that way so that my so that my little three year old can't open it because it's closer to the wall. <laughs> Did I do something wrong then? No, no, oh. you can put it on either side. Okay, because that really confused me. I got real scared there. <laughs> um, but yeah, because I'm I I had a I had this like older glass wooden cabinet um, for my grandma and. It just I, I like the look of the detolfs. They look slick. And I have all of I have one of every figure of mine that I'm gonna put in there. And I have a bunch of um uh the the prototypes. Oh the wow. Unpaint, yeah, I have a bunch of unpainted and painted proto like the the molds or the, the, the first ones hand painted. And then they I actually have a head that was unreleased. Because it was shown to Stephanie, and she said it looked too demonic, so we couldn't put it out. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. So that must be pretty cool, right? When you come into WWE, that was like two thousand six or seven, right? Two thousand six. Yeah, two thousand six, and you almost immediately have merchandise. You have figures. You're part of this huge. You're part of this huge uh, story. It was crazy. I. I all I wanted to do was was be a part of WWE. That was my dream since I was four. Um, and then, like, when I got there, the only, like, I, I, growing up, I was a wrestling figure fanatic all the time. So that's, like, but it's it's one of those dreams where it's not, it's never going to happen. Because first off, I have to make it to WWE. Secondly, which isn't going to happen. Secondly, I have to get a figure. And, like, it's just not going to happen. When I heard I was getting one. It was, man, it was, it was a dream, literally top five things ever in my life is getting my own action figure. Um, my first one was a vinyl aggression. They put out like Funko Pops before Funko Pops were a thing. Um, everyone had the same body, everything, but they were just there. It's literally Funko Pops, but they're called vinyl aggression. So I had one of those and then I had a unmatched fury, which are like the statue figures. And they put two of those in each box, and I was like, this is weird. But it was because they didn't want people, they didn't want the consumer to feel gypped because it's a smaller figure. I was like, no. okay, sure. So does that mean like if they buy a big show or a viscera, they feel like extra, yeah, I got I got an extra figure. No. There's big shows on the shelves. <laughs> Man, that's uh, I think my favorite figure of yours is the the one that comes with uh, El Torito. Uh, it's the, the two yeah, yeah, man. I that's it's it's one of those that one is so I can't find it, and I I'm kind of upset at myself because when you get released, you uh, bring everything to the merch stands and you sell it. I wish I would have kept an on package two pack of that just for me because I love the two pack. It's the greatest moment of my career. Um, like match wise. And like the figure itself, it's an elite figure. Like in all reality, it's an elite figure, but it's a basic two pack. But they gave me so much articulation. All of my tattoos, uh, Landon's handprints are on my back, which is the coolest thing. Yeah, it's it's that's that's the most incredible part of it. Like it has all my tattoos and his handprints on my back with his name on it on on the, my back and everything. It's it's pretty incredible how it turned out. Oh, that's awesome. And yeah. the one that I have in my office, uh, and I can blame Zack Ryder and uh, Kurt Hawkins for getting me back into wrestling figures, is I have the Micro Brawler. Yes. You gave to me in Columbus. which I was I, in, For uh, when we did the Ring of Honor show, right? 
Yeah, and yeah, you you are very difficult to find to this day. <laughs> so that one, that one, and the crazy thing is, so they did they did my, the first one because they've done two of them now. The first one was the King of Small Style shirt, and then I talked to Ryan at Pro Wrestling Tees. I said, "Hey, I'm out. Can we do these?" And I, I, I don't. They don't sell that one. I don't think that one's only at my merch table. Wow, they well, only made that for my merch table. Which is crazy. I, I was pulling my hair out. There's a couple that are really tough to find, like X Pac yeah. for the gun and Ricky yeah, Steamboat. Right. And, and the the Billy Gun one is because WWE pulled it, right? I believe so. That's what I've heard. X Pac too. That's I've heard that, and I've heard okay. there's some stuff with Steamboat too. So. Oh, okay, okay. I never. I, okay, that makes sense. Why the Billy and X Pac are so hard then? Yeah. But Did you really keep Billy's? I don't have Billy's. I'm missing uh, missing Billy and Ricky Steamboat at this point. <laughs> the Steamboat so, one, awesome too. Like that, is, that's an awesome is. one. I should have ordered that one when it was available. Yeah, <laughs> but it's uh, man, they're doing such cool things with those. And then I hear the possible majors might possibly be getting. That's what they they rumored on the podcast a couple of weeks ago. So that's pretty cool too. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Uh, I'm scheduled to have one also, which is pretty oh, cool. That's- Thing. Yeah, and I think I'm in their set, which is kind of hilarious. It's kind of like the wrestling figure people are all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's awesome. That makes me so happy. Then that's that's yeah. really cool. No, it's 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 a lot of fun. Um, I, I know you played wrestling stuff. I also know you're a big Disney fan. Um, I'm a little sad because we were going to go down to Disney. Uh, my family and oh. I for the big weekend. Oh was... man! Oh, yeah. with the baby too. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's even worse. Um, so he doesn't know. Every year I plan a surprise trip with him. Every year. And I was going to do it at the end of April, because it's the same week every year. And he hasn't caught on yet. Um, I'm waiting for him to bust in. Uh, but we have it planned and booked. <sighs> I don't know. It's it's literally going to be a coin toss. Yeah, but also, I have a and and, and it, I feel both ways. I feel it's going to, if it does reopen and able to go, it, it's going to be absolutely packed because everyone wants to make up their vacation, or it could be dead because people don't have the money to go. Yeah. So it's going to be one or the other. Um, it, this is the craziest time I've ever lived. Like, right. My parents, my parents said to me, I, I stopped over to their house today because they just got back from a uh, vacation um, and they had to cut their vacation short. They they were going to spend a week in New Orleans and just they drive all their vacation. They were both retired. They drive on their vacations now, but they're going to drive back up and just take their time. They said everything's closed. We, we, we'll just come home and, and hang out with our family. Like there's no reason to be in a, a, a closed city somewhere else. That's not home. Um so they had they cut their trip. It's just it's and they said to me today, they go, we've we've never lived something like like, like my grandpa maybe has, but no one's lived this kind of thing. And it's so it's just it's a crazy time, man. Yeah, we at Ring of Honor are officially off through May, like the earliest the earliest we'll restart is June. And it feels really strange because I feel like I have to, you know, you get in the habit of waking up at four in the morning and running to the airport and throwing stuff in your bag and this, that, and the other. I haven't had to do that. And my body is almost rejecting the sleep. <laughs> it's like, reject- it's, it's like this my, weird. like, I just, I'm so, I'm used to it now. And I don't like that feeling. I don't like the feeling of just being okay at home. Yeah. Because I'm not. I want to be on the road. I want to be wrestling. This is what I love to do. I love independent wrestling and I want to be traveling. I like the time with my son. I love it. It's the best thing ever. But I also know that, uh, you know, funds, you can't stop spending money. Like in all reality, (laughs) bills come, groceries, gas, all that has to be paid for. And if there's nothing coming in and it's just going out, that's the issue and that's 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 what sucks and it has that part hasn't hit me yet i keep telling people like midweek this week or next week it'll be like oh my god i'm gonna go broke this sucks (laughs) but it's just it's uh what what sucks is there's no there's no end date 
There's no right. update. No one knows. And that's the, that's the tough part. Yeah. And I, I think that's why it's been fun to connect with everybody about these plastic yeah. guys. Cause it's, it's, it's a little distraction at least. And, uh, it, did you ever, you collected these? You said you collected these when when you were a kid. Would that be LJN's Hasbro's? Hasbro's. I'm not that old. Come on now, kid. Yeah. Uh, no, I collected ha- I collected Hasbro's first, and my brother was really into wrestling and into the figures. And I then and he had he had I remember he had the ring. He had um, Andre, Hogan, Jake, Million Dollar Man. Uh, Brutus Beefcake, and War, and the the I call it the Red Warrior, the for the series one, okay, uh, with the title that's supposed to be an intercontinental title, or but it's very weird to like this day. Backwards belt. Yeah, yes, that's what I thought all, all my whole life. I was like, why is he wearing a belt? This is very odd. Yeah. Um, and then he, like, I would play with him so much because I just wanted to be like like him. And finally, my parents had to buy me. Some as well. So I ha- I got a boss man, a second boss man, second Andre, second warrior, and second beefcake. And so then I had my own. And he had a ring. And then my dad made me a wooden ring, which was like, I wish it was still around because it was like, to me, it's the coolest thing ever. And that he made it for me. And it just, I mean, it was the ropes were rubber bands, but it was for a four or five year old kid. It was the coolest thing ever. Um, and then my, my collection, I was into Hasbro's. I, I, I loved them. Hasbro's were like my first love was wrestling figures. Yeah, and, it, it's amazing. I can I can recall just about where I was and when I like yeah. the stores I got the individual Hasbro's at. Like when you said Andre the Giant, I remember going to Woolworths and I we it was like a year after the line came out and it was just sitting on the shelf and it was like oh my god I finally found it. It was the last one. That I needed for the series. Uh, yeah, my my back doc, my spine doctor. When I had my back surgery, we would go to the Mall of America, and that was when I, I, the first set I remember was like it was later. It was like the nails set, mm. uh, and going and then on, and we would go to the Mall of America, and they had a a toy store right in the mall, and it was uh, was uh, like Snoopy's toy store or something. It was right in the amusement park, the center area, and they had, I mean, they had everyone. And I, my first trip there. It was for my first checkup, and we were all so happy because I got my back cast off, and I like I literally I remember literally taking the cart and just going, <laughs> just I bet you I bought twelve of them that day, and I was I was so happy. I remember getting nails and uh, a giant Gonzalez, and all these like I was so pumped, and then then so every time we went. We had like we went to that toy store and then Hasbro's were phased out for the for the jacks eventually. But those didn't come up right away, like at at least at that store. And I was so pissed off because I didn't have the last the one, two, three kid series, the last series, the green cards. Right. Yeah. Those don't I never had. I never had any of that series. And it just it there was very few that I didn't have. I never wanted the LODs figures. Because the playability sucked, I thought, because they had the shoulder pads. Spikes, yeah. Now, this is the worst. This is the worst because I can't play with them. Um, I, I didn't. I always, but I had the two warriors, so I would use them as LOD, and nice. then have my white white trunk warrior as my warrior because that was the best one ever. Uh, <laughs> but like, that's I've always been a wrestling. And then I bought when I was on the road with WWE even. And before that, when I was on the independence, I was buying the classics line from Jax. And I just sold all of them to Ryder uh, last year. And it was probably the funniest thing because it was, there was a group chat with me, him, and Hawkins. And I kept thinking he was trying to dick me out of money. And I, I was like, I kept, uh, so I like side text Hawkins, like, is he trying to screw me? Is he trying to screw me on this? And Hawkins goes, no, just just do this deal. So they're, what are you going to do with them? They're going to sit in your garage and do nothing. Fine. And I just shipped them. And then the the Postal Peanut job that they are now talk about on the podcast, the major podcast, wasn't even my fault. Legitimately was not my fault. I dropped all of these boxes off at UPS store. They weighed them, all of that. 
I paid for it. They, I never sealed them up. They sealed them up. So they put all these peanuts in these boxes. Wow. And I never did it. And then I hear Postal Peanut Shop. I go, what is this? And then they explain. I go, no, it wasn't. But now it's infamous. And now there's a damn pro wrestling t-shirt that like six of my students have bought. And they showed up at class one week all wearing it. Uh, so it's I'm I'm now and and that then there was a uh, you know a sidebar with the pro wrestling tees. Landon asked one day, "Why are your shirts always naked?" Like I don't I didn't understand, and I, I was like, "Oh, yep, that's just I mean, all, every major shirt I'm naked on. That's, <laughs> that's my legacy in this business now. That's your trademark." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess it's better to be known for something than not at all. <laughs> so. Yeah, and as long as people are buying it, that's pretty cool. Uh, they're, yeah. they're wearing a naked midget on their shirt. That's pretty <laughs> odd, but awesome. Oh, man. <laughs> well, I don't have that shirt yet, but uh, I know they're available on Pro Wrestling Tees, and you have a store yeah. up there also. <laughs> yeah, I have stuff up Pro Wrestling Tees. Um, check that out. Check out my wrestling company, ACW Wisconsin. Unfortunately, we just had to cancel our big one. We were bringing in Scott Hall, ICP, Cabana. It was actually going to be me versus Cabana, which I don't uh-huh. think he knew, which makes it even better. Um, but then, but we're 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 going to make it for the rest. Of the, we're gonna we're gonna try to bring in all these talents for the rest of the year at some point. Um, if you get a chance, check out Amazon. Uh, buy my my book that just got released in September. Life is short, and so am I. I would appreciate that, and let me know what you think. Awesome. Well, thanks, Swaggle. It was, it was awesome, great to finally meet you at, at Ring of Honor. We loved having you there. I Hope felt to see you like, back. yeah, man, I felt like we've met and we knew each other somehow without ever even talking, but we somehow just knew each other through friends and just were buddies. Yeah, yeah, and we never met in person, so that was cool. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. awesome. Thank you, man. Talk to you very, very yeah. soon. Yeah, we'll see you soon. <laughs> Take care. <laughs>